He is known for being a polymath and excelling in all fields of mathematics during his lifetime, earning him the title of the last universalist. He is recognized for making original contributions to pure and applied mathematics, celestial mechanics, and mathematical physics. His name is Henri Poincaré. In the world of mathematics, there existed a man named Henri Poincaré. Born in France in 1854, Poincaré was a polymath, excelling in various fields of mathematics and science. He was often hailed as the last universalist due to his remarkable contributions to the discipline. Poincaré's brilliance shone through as he made groundbreaking discoveries in pure and applied mathematics, mathematical physics, and celestial mechanics. One of his crowning achievements was in unraveling the mysteries of the three-body problem, where he became the first to uncover a chaotic deterministic system. This groundbreaking work laid the foundation for what we now know as chaos theory. But Poincaré's contributions extended far beyond just mathematics. He had a deep understanding of the importance of the invariance of physical laws under different transformations, and he played a pivotal role in the formulation of the theory of special relativity. In fact, it was Poincaré who presented the Lorentz transformations in their modern symmetrical form and proposed the existence of gravitational waves propagating at the speed of light. However, one of Poincaré's most enduring legacies was the formulation of the Poincaré conjecture. This tantalizing problem remained unsolved for over a century until it was finally cracked by Grigory Perelman in 2002-2003. Poincaré's brilliance and his ability to delve into the deepest mysteries of mathematics continue to inspire and awe mathematicians and scientists to this day. Henri Poincaré, a renowned mathematician and physicist, had a unique perspective on the concept of free will. While he often spoke of a deterministic universe, he acknowledged that the subconscious generation of new possibilities involves an element of chance. This idea was highlighted in his famous lectures before the Société de Psychologie in Paris, where he discussed the process of creativity and invention. Poincaré proposed that these creative processes consist of two distinct mental stages. The first stage involves the random combination of possible solutions to a problem. In this phase, the mind explores various options without any predetermined order or logic. It is during this stage that chance plays a significant role in generating new ideas and possibilities. However, Poincaré emphasized that the creative process does not end with random combinations alone. The second stage involves a critical evaluation of these combinations, where the mind selects and assesses the most viable solutions. This stage is essential for refining and developing the initial random combinations into meaningful and practical ideas. Poincaré's insights on the two stages of creativity and invention later became the foundation for Daniel Dennett's two-stage model of free will. Dennett, a prominent philosopher, expanded on Poincaré's ideas, suggesting that free will involves both the generation of random possibilities and the subsequent selection and evaluation of those possibilities. In daily life, Poincaré's philosophy of free will can help us navigate the challenges and decisions we face. By recognizing that the generation of new possibilities involves an element of chance, we can embrace uncertainty and explore different paths without feeling restricted by determinism. Additionally, understanding the importance of critical evaluation allows us to make informed choices and select the options that align with our values and goals. Henri Poincaré's unique perspective on free will reminds us that while we may live in a deterministic universe, our minds possess the capacity to generate new possibilities and exercise agency in our decision-making processes. By embracing chance and engaging in thoughtful evaluation, we can harness the power of free will to shape our lives and make choices that lead to personal growth and fulfillment. Henri Poincaré, a renowned French mathematician and philosopher, was born into a family of great influence and intellect. His father, Lyon Poincaré, was a respected professor of medicine at the University of Nancy. Growing up in the site Ducale neighborhood in Nancy, Henri was surrounded by a stimulating environment that fostered his intellectual curiosity from a young age. With his natural inclination towards mathematics and philosophy, Henry's journey into the realm of ideas began to take shape. His younger sister, Aline, married the spiritual philosopher Emile Boutroux, further enriching the discussions and debates that permeated their family gatherings. Henry's cousin, Raymond Poincaré, a prominent member of the Académie Française, would go on to become the President of France and serve as Prime Minister multiple times. In his pursuit of knowledge, Henri Poincaré delved into various branches of mathematics, making groundbreaking contributions to the field. However, his philosophy extended beyond pure mathematics and embraced a holistic understanding of the world. Poincaré believed that philosophy should not be confined to abstract theories but should be applicable to everyday life. Poincaré's philosophy emphasized the importance of creativity, intuition, and imagination. He recognized that these qualities were not only essential for mathematical discoveries but also for navigating the complexities of daily life. 
Poincaré famously stated, it is through science that we prove, but through intuition that we discover. This quote encapsulates his belief in the power of intuition as a guiding force in both scientific exploration and personal growth. Henri Poincaré's philosophy continues to inspire and guide us in the modern world. His emphasis on creativity and intuition encourages us to tap into our innate abilities to solve problems and make meaningful connections. By embracing Poincaré's philosophy, we can navigate the uncertainties of life with a sense of curiosity and open-mindedness, allowing us to discover new possibilities and find fulfillment in our daily experiences. Henri Poincaré, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration that would shape his understanding of the world and his place in it. His insatiable curiosity and unwavering dedication to knowledge propelled him to the forefront of his field. As he delved deeper into the realm of mathematics, Poincaré's life became a testament to his unwavering pursuit of truth. From his early years, Poincaré exhibited extraordinary academic prowess. Despite facing a serious illness during his childhood, he received special instruction from his mother, Eugénie Lanois. This early nurturing of his intellect set the stage for his remarkable future. In 1862, Poincaré entered the prestigious Lycée in Nancy, where he quickly distinguished himself as one of the top students in every subject. His mathematics teacher hailed him as a monster of mathematics, and he consistently excelled in written composition. Poincaré's thirst for knowledge led him to the École Polytechnique, where he studied under the guidance of Charles Hermite. Graduating in 1875, he continued to pursue his passion for mathematics and published his first paper the following year. During this time, he also studied at the École de Mines, which equipped him with a diverse range of skills, including mining engineering. Poincaré's multidisciplinary expertise would prove invaluable throughout his career. As a graduate of the École de Mines, Poincaré joined the Corps de Mines as an inspector. However, his fascination with mathematics persisted, and he embarked on a doctoral journey under the supervision of Charles Hermite. His groundbreaking thesis on differential equations, titled, Sur les proprieties de functions définies par les équations AUX differences partielles, introduced a new way of studying these equations. Poincaré not only sought to determine their integrals but also explored their geometric properties, realizing their potential in modeling the behavior of celestial bodies within the solar system. Poincaré's dedication to his craft extended beyond academia. In August 1879, he found himself at the scene of a tragic mining disaster, where 18 miners lost their lives. With characteristic compassion and meticulousness, he conducted an official investigation into the accident. This experience further deepened his understanding of the human condition and the importance of applying his knowledge for the betterment of society. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.